Good day, and welcome to Currencies Direct Weekly podcast for Monday, the 22nd of February. After what was a rather up and down week for the local unit, the RAND now finds itself trading north of key resistance at 1450 against the US dollar. Despite closing weaker, the local unit is still trading in the green for the month of Feb. Shifting sentiment was the reason for the RAND's movement seen last week. With the green back, Clawing back lost ground after a sluggish start to the month. Market participants started to bet on a US recovery, a rise in inflation, and an attractive US bond yield. As data out from the land of the free suggested a recovery is slowly but surely on track. Across the pond in the UK, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to announce the easing of lockdown restrictions spread out in the month of March. With more than one third of the population already vaccinated, the country's rollout could see all adults receiving the jab by the 31st of July. Back home, the numbers are a bit more humbling. The Rainbow Nation's rollout got underway last week with the President and Minister of Health, some of the first to receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. With 500,000 more doses expected to reach the country in a few weeks, it's certainly the 20 million doses from Pfizer anticipated to the end of March that will really kickstart the nation's rollout. Speaking of the Pfizer vaccine, research over the weekend not only showed the Pfizer vaccine is effective in preventing infections, but also showed the dosage significantly reduces transmissions. I welcome relief after the country breached 1.5 million COVID-19 cases over the past weekend. A sobering reminder that COVID-19 remains a near and present threat to the population. This week, however, will be all about SA's budget speech. Finance Minister Tito Mbawini takes to the podium Wednesday afternoon with GDP to debt ratio and expenditure numbers likely to steal the headlines. SA are expected to release the country's fourth quarter unemployment figures. The data, which is set for release on Tuesday, will provide insight into the extent of job creation or not during lockdown. With a host of local data out this week, the week ahead could be a rather volatile one for the local unit, with the currency expected to trade within the 1450 to 1510 range against the US dollar. That's it for this week's edition. If you'd like to chat about any of your currency requirements, please get in touch with us on 021-418-0105 for Currencies Direct Weekly Podcast. My name is Justin Ludovic.